Mr. Alex Pendergast. We really don't know. I don't know this one good enough to say it without looking at the paper. I want to tell you though, this right here is a real good Easter song. No, I don't want that. Ain't we all glad that the shepherd became the lamb? No, I want that. So this song is. Some of you might have heard it. Some of you might not. But this right here is a good Easter song. I'm not saying the same one now that you no, listen to the words no. of the song. <laughs> I'm not
were all washed away and each drop that had fallen from God's dearest Son brought mercy and grace that we could be thought if I lose my ability to to do a lot of things to live in this life as we older we get we we think a lot of times you know that uh, back on what we can used to do Amen. brother you'll be a witness to that and I'm sure yes. and those things that I can look at and I can see the things that I used to do but there's some things that I started out doing that I can always do. And I believe as long as God gives me the breath yes, to breathe, and in the Word He tells us about yes. giving us senses. You know what senses is, you know. A lot of people might be saying the senses that uh, you got your sense of smell, sense of taste. Well, I, I never lose my sense of taste. <laughs> but I, 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 love, I love to taste things that's, that's good. Uh-huh. But I love the taste of this. David said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Uh-huh. And I find it in the Word, when we're talking about the Word uh, so many times, that uh, a lot of people, they, they, they wonder, well, you know, what is uh, what's he going to say? What's he going to do? Got nothing new to do. Got nothing new to say. Uh, Jesus is still Lord and he'll always be Lord. Uh, and that's what we need to have on our mind. You know, what is on our minds today? Is it what we want to do? Is it what what we want to say? What, what we want to uh, figure out 
the way it's something's like, it's already here. Right here, this is it. What we need to do is to study it and make sure that we, as the children of God, are lining up with his word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> there ain't nothing no better. Because you can you can just get down and out and be down and out and you can just there's just nothing going right. And if you've got any of the ability at all and the memory at all over your Christian your Christian life, you can remember when there's been times that it just seemed like it's gone as far as it can go. And you have to find you somewhere or another, Steve, and sit down. Uh -huh. Sit down and read. Reach and get that good word of I God. Find yourself oh somewhere God. or another, solitary, you and your wife, somebody, whatever, or by yourself, sit down and begin to read and begin to let God, to let God talk to us. Uh -huh. Brother, the word is God. Come on. Jesus said, sanctify them, Father. Uh -huh. Sanctify. Come on, Sanctify them, Father, through thy truth. Uh -huh. And he said, thy word. Uh -huh. Thy word is truth. That's right, brother. You can't just run up and get you a bushel or a bushel on a half of sanctification. Come on, brother. You gotta you gotta make total dedication to God. Huh? And you gotta get down on your knees in your heart, wherever you are standing, or whatever it might be, and seek God with your whole heart and tell him you want his word within you. Uh, that's right, oh, man. I believe that, brother. I believe if we're gonna get anywhere with God, I believe we need to get in his word. Uh -huh. His word, the the unadulterated brother, I'm telling you, the, on, the Holy Ghost of God, the Word of God, which is able to cleanse us, and it can set us apart. Right. Why? Because we read it and we study it, then we know the right way to go. Come on, brother. I've heard people say, I just got so, it got so overbearing for me that I just couldn't take it no more, and I, I gave in. Amen. Come on, brother. No, you gave up on God. That's all you do. That's all we do. Good job. That's all we do. We're so quick to give up on Good God. Man. Bless him, Lord. He tells us to count my count, do not count God's slack. He said, God is not. And his word is not. His word is not slack. And he said that God is not slack. Concerning his promises. That's right. As he said, some men, as some men count flatness. Uh -huh. But the Bible said that he's long suffering, that he puts up with you, Steve, and he puts up with me, Johnny. Yeah. Puts Come up on. with us, Stacy. You know he does. Amen. We can go through a whole entire week long, huh, and then we can look back upon it. Amen. Huh? And if nobody else ain't sitting there pointing their finger, hey, brother, you can point it at yourself because you know that you've done things that wasn't right in the eyes of God. And if that mind and that heart would have been buried in that word like it ought to be, it wouldn't have happened. Amen. So much. Come on. I'm not saying nothing won't never happen. Come on, brother. Because as long as we're in this flesh. We're going to suffer the works of some of the flesh. It's going to overpower us at times. But I'm telling you, there is truth in the Word of God. He said, my Word is truth. You want the truth? He said, the truth can make you free. Uh -huh. You use. You be easy. You try to do the best you can. And you, you you try to you try to work with people and you, you try to baby them and you you try to pacify them and you you try to you try to help them but it just don't seem like no matter what you do huh, that they just ain't going to receive it. Amen. But you don't give up. Come on. You keep on and you keep on and and you try your best to persuade them in this word. This, this is the only way. The word's the only way. You ain't going to grow no other way. What does it tell us? We are 
Some of you already know what I'm going to say, but he said we are what? We are begotten by the Word. Amen. You want God to talk to you? Have a good old long conversation with him. Pick out a subject that, that you want to talk to God about. Go to him on that one subject. You got so many helps today about, about the King James, the revelation of the King James Version Bible. You got dictionaries that you can look in there and you can find out exactly what that word means in the biblical standpoint. There's a lot of mortifying that needs to be done within you, Steve, and within me. There's a lot of mortifying that we need to do. He said, mortify the deeds of the flesh. And that word mortify means to kill, to destroy, no matter what it is, the deeds of the flesh. And get them out of the way. And when we get those out of the way, and those things that hinder us, when we get those things out of the way, then we can seal movement Amen. with God. And the steps that we're taking that we seem like they're, 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 they're getting higher. And they're getting higher up because we are being begotten by the Word. Amen. You want to talk to God? You get in that Word and you read that Word and you study that Word. The Bible says that I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to beseech you. Is, I beg of you, brother. I, I plead with you. And I, I, my heart goes out. But he said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, uh -huh. holy and acceptable That's unto so God. Man. Come on, bro. Be not conformed to this world, amen. Uh -huh. Mortify them deeds of that flesh. Yeah. Mortify the things that's yeah. hurting you and, and getting you down and troubling you, amen. Well, brother. I beseech you. I beg of you. By the mercies of God. Uh -huh. Just think about it. Think about what all of this is saying. Therefore, brethren, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Uh -huh. <sighs> well, ask him, Lord. Hallelujah. Be not conformed. Uh huh to the things that wants to get you down and the things that want to get on your mind and they want to lay there and they want to sob and they want you to they want you to think about them they want you to meditate on them and the first thing you know when you start doing that stuff you're backing out of the will of God getting right down in the depth of Satan. Come on, man. So people like to call them demons. There's no good thing. Is a demon that's not in the Bible. It's a perfect devil that is out to trouble you. And it's a perfect devil that's out to steal your joy, your love, and your happiness that God has given you. Uh, he said he came to kill, to steal, and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life through what? Through his word. Through his word. Amen. Glory to God. Bless him, Lord. We'll read this in a minute. Bless him, but he said, milk, they that use us milk uh, of the word. You know, it's okay. You know, Jesus loves me this, I know, and all that stuff gets it for children. Amen. But we need to grow up. Amen. Amen, bro. Come we on. We need to grow up. Amen. And we need to start seeing some things that maybe they're not what we think they are. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, that brother, he just don't think good about me. And uh, that, that sister, I just can't get over what she does. Well, get over it. Amen. If you look in the mirror, you'll find we're all doing almost some of the same thing. Brother. I love you. I love you with all my heart. But the Bible says to lay aside the sin. Johnny, lay aside the sin 
and the weight that does so easily beset you. Uh -huh. Run forth the race that's set before us. Amen. Well, when I look out and I see somebody anymore in my heart, I, my, I want my heart to go out to that individual. I don't care what her name is. I don't care what he name is. I don't care who it is. I want to see Jesus in their life. And I want to see me trying my best to get to that person and help that person. As strong I know it is. It's a, it's a knocking good. the bark off of both sides of the tree, and I know it is. But it's also That's knocking good. the bark off my tree too. Amen. It's good. I want to. I want to do. I want to do what God would have Johnny to do. Amen. Amen. He said to love one another. <laughs> All right. Amen. Now the milk. When people are taught the milk, uh -huh. and as long as they are on the milk, uh -huh. these are unskillful. They're unskillful right. in the word. They're unskillful. What the word said. But the Bible said that strong meat, strong word of Almighty God, uh -huh. belongeth to them that are of full age. Oh, I'm a Christian. I, hey, buddy, I got it all down. Yeah, well, some of them can't even tell you how to be saved. Come on, bro. Some of them can't, can't even tell you how to love the brother or how to love their sister. Or Lord, how much, or what should I do? To, what, what, what can I do, preacher? To to uh, come on, bro. To learn to shut my foul mouth. Come on, come on, my brother. When you go into the house of God, the Bible says itself not die. But <laughs> well, better watch out now. Come on, bro. <laughs> Suffer not by mouth. Uh, come on, man. To cause. Uh huh. Thy flesh uh -huh. to sin. That's it right. will. And just, David just don't take but a word or two. Don't take but a word or two to tear down all the blessings that God's built up in, sure, in, in within you for such a long time. One little word or two can tear. Paul said, if I build upon the things that I once done, he said, I'm a, I make myself a transgressor. I don't want to be a transgressor. I want to be somebody, Brother Stephen, get in that word and study that word, and I can be like David. Somebody said, My Lord, what in the world do you want to be like him for? Because he was a man. He was a real man. You know why? Because he was after God's own heart. Amen. And what about that? Amen. What, what the Lord said? <laughs> he said, I have found me a man. I have found me a man. Don't you dare take anything to God and tell God what David done. Uh, That's not that won't be good for you. That on, wouldn't that, that wouldn't be a good standing thing for you to do. Come on. Because God knows that you and me are just as subject to David's faults as David's. That's the truth, amen. Uh -huh. Come on. Ooh. The truth, bro. Now, that strong wheat. When a man get when a man it gets so determined, I am going to get just as close to God as I can get, and they ain't nothing. They ain't no devil in hell anywhere in this whole wherever we are. Going to turn me back. Then it takes some strong listening. It takes sometimes keeping your mouth shut and listening. So what that preacher right back there says to us and tries to help us, though it may seem real hard at the time, and though it may seem, though it may seem, hey, lighten up a little bit. Well, then that may be just what we need, because it said, "Strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age." Uh -huh. How strong Mom. are we, Steve? How old are we in God? Mom. This is what he says. Having their senses exercised. So you see, you got some senses. You got some smarts. Instead of attitudes, use the senses. Let's don't use our attitudes. Let's use our senses. Strong meat belongeth to them that are full age. How many do I have? I'm still growing at you. Amen. I'm still growing, Brother Fred. Me too, bro. I'm not hardly got that full age temp. Because I know what it means, brother. 
I know what it means to say, hey, I love God and I'm doing God's will. And then I look back and I say, whoa. I don't think that one was in the will of God. So, hey, even the thought, see it? Even the thought, judgmental. Oh, and just saying a lot of times we offend our opinion. Oh, Lord, that's the devil's playground. But he said, having their senses exercised right here, thereby that we should be able to discern if our senses is in the right place and we're discerning the right things, he said, having their senses exercised to discern both between good and evil. So you can't say I didn't know if you're a full-grown Christian of that, that, that strong meat, you see. We have got off sometimes on some of the, we try to go to God and we try to say, well, Lord, you know, Lord, you know, yeah, the Lord knows it's all right. And he knows when he's going to get enough of it, Brother Steve. And he's going to make a believer out of us one of these days if we're not very careful. It is a serious thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Here's the thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Now we're going to read just a little bit and maybe we might be down here in just a second. All right. If you're Bible readers that know anything about any of this good stuff, you're going to know that there's some good reading. Amen. And you're going to know when, when we read this right here tonight, just, just how much that, you, you know, you can, you can really, you can just, you can be so dirty and you can be so filthy and you can, sometimes I guess I smell like a Russian boar hog, but <clears throat> you can take this word of God and turn it right over and it says, by the washing of the regeneration of the word. Come on, bro. This word right here tonight will cleanse us and it'll right. bring all things to our remembrance whatsoever right. Christ has said unto us. It will teach us, lead us, right. and guide us. First John, the first epistle of John. That which was from the beginning. What? Think about it. The Word, the Word of God, the Word, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled. Uh -huh. Of the Word of life right here. Pure and holy. Uh -huh. Pure and holy, clean and white. Brother, I can. Mm, mm, mm. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us through and by His Word. That, that which we have seen, and have declared. No, that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. Listen at that. And truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you that your joy may be full. Then this is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, there ain't no other thing about it, brother. He said we're just a liar. We lie. We lie if we do that. We lie. Say that. I mean, you need we need all we need to all say it if we say we walk in, in the light and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Uh -huh. In other words, when you tell somebody you're living right, you better make sure you are. Come on, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin just because we're walking in fellowship one with another. Amen. Oh, yes. 
If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, Come on, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful. I'm going to tell you something. It's one, uh, you can go from from, uh, from one week to the next, and uh, and just like I say, you can say, well, you know, uh, we confess our sins, and how many, really, how, how much? You think about it. You just think about the whole truth. And us as people are supposed to be living right and doing the will of God. Listen to what he said. If, if, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That will be our attitude every time we come. It's not, it's not well, I wonder how much Johnny sinned or Steve sinned or somebody else sinned. It's, Lord, those things that I've done and those things that i said and, and, and my attitude. Lord, I want it to be better. I want my attitude to be better. I want somebody to look at me, Stacy, and I want them to see Christ in my life. We're the light. We're the light. Jesus was the light. Now we're the light. If we say that we have not sinned, oh, my Lord, have mercy. And make him alive. We make him alive. And his word is not in us. I'll tell you what. Many, uh, a lot, of, lot of people that has a, has a lot of has a lot of problem with that, but I believe with all my heart that if we'll be a, a confessing people and confess our faults one to another, God will give you the right thing to say. God will give you this that to do or whatever to say. But the main thing it is, it's when when people come to the house of God, brother. I believe I believe that we ought to be just if there's something other on our heart that's bothering us, that's getting us down. You might say, well, brother, you know, you want, you want not to say that, but if it's getting me down, then I need to get up here. And I need to seek God. I say, God, you help me. Because my outlook, my attitude, my life, these other people are watching it. They're listening at the things that we say. They're looking at something other than maybe that we're looking at. I mean, I'm going to tell you something. The Bible said, before we're tossed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. It's pitiful. People are watching you, Steve. They're listening to every word you say. And they're listening, you know, at your deals. They're listening at this. They're listening at that. And I want people to see Jesus in my life, brother. Come on, brother Fred. Amen. desired tonight to uh, please the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And uh, glory to God. You know, uh, it keeps coming to mind what the Word teaches that not only be a hearer of the Word, but also a doer. Amen. We, we can sit all day and listen, and that's wonderful, and that's great, and that's awesome. But we also got to apply it to our life. Amen. And uh, I thank God for the Word tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. For giving the Lord a hand clap. Amen. The Lord. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, all I want to do is please the Lord. Amen. I may stumble along the way, Johnny. But you know what I found out? Lord of God, if I call out on his name, if I call out on his name, he'll forgive me if I do it with a sincere heart, that is, and I turn from whatever it was. Amen. And... Uh, He'll forgive us, amen, and I thank God for it. I can't make without his mercy, can't make without his grace. Uh, you know, I know I know there might be a lot uh, that, that's that perfect Christian, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I can't do this without Jesus. I can't right. live right without Jesus. I can't, I can't do what's right without Jesus, amen. I've got to have his help, amen. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, at times, I guess we feel like, Brother Johnny, we're in a tug of war, amen. The uh, flesh is pulling one way and the spirit's uh, uh, directing us a different way, amen. But uh, we got to yield to the spirit if we want to live, amen. we got to yield to the spirit because if we yield to the flesh, all the flesh is brings is a... Uh, Death. It just brings destruction, uh, uh, just heartache, sorrow, on and on. You know what I'm saying? Everything that's uh, 
the option of the goodness of God, that's what the flesh brings. Amen. So uh, let's just yield to the Spirit of God and believe Him. Amen. And believe God and and do our best, amen, to walk up right before God, amen, and to, to apply his word. Lord, help me. You know, when we open that Bible, we need to look in it. A lot of times, Brother Johnny, we open it and we're looking for something for somebody else. So this is what they're doing. Who's this is, I've been doing it, brother. Huh? They're ready. And don't take your own times, God, to have correction to be broad, amen. But when we open it, brother, not only, you know, we need to be looking... As if we're looking into the mirror. That's right. That's me Lord he's talking amen. about. That's right. That's me right there. Amen. And uh, I love the hard word. I love my hide to be peeled. Uh, because, you know, it makes me check up, Lord of God. Am I still in the faith? Am I still walking with Jesus? Amen. Peel my hide. Throw the word on me. Amen. Come on, you might hurt my feelings, but I'll get over it, amen, amen. because I tell you amen. what, glory to God, I know the word of God's uh, uh, true, amen, and it's more amen. important uh, than my feelings tonight, amen, amen. amen. Uh, hallelujah, amen. the glory to God, yeah, I've got mad at preachers preaching before Johnny, but then God convict me, listen, that, that's my amen. word, amen, amen. And, and I'd have to repent, amen, come on now. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. I thank God for that word. As Johnny said, we're begotten by the word of God. Right. Huh? Man. What did he say? Not be not to be ye conformed the world, to the world, the world but be ye transformed by the renewing of what? Right. Your mind. How, what to how, the Lord is. how do you do it? How do you renew your mind? How do you know what the will of the Lord is? His word. That's exactly right. His word. That's right. His word. That's how. That's how our mind is renewed. That's how we know His will is His holy word. Amen. So glory to God. The more we dig, the deeper we get, the more we can grow in Him. But without the word, without the word, there's no growth. I'm going to say this. I'm going to shut up. Brother Johnny, there's some people, spiritual man, that is literally starving to death because they're not reading the word and feeding it. Amen. Amen. You can't conquer, you can't go out there and fight a devil if you ain't got the word in you. I'm just going to tell you. I don't, I'm not no devil hunter tonight. I'm not going out hunting them. Glory to God, you hear what I'm saying, but if they come my way, I want the word in me so I can handle them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you afraid of the devil? No, I'm not afraid of him, but i got enough sense not to go out and try to hunt him down because let me tell you something, you live for the Lord, he's going to come to you anyway. Amen. You ain't got to go out there and hunt him down. Amen. Come on now. If you're going to live for Jesus, he's going to be around that corner waiting someplace, try to trip you up, try to sidetrack you, hit you somewhere. He, he goes walking around what? As a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So he's there. He's there. But remember this. And I'll leave you with this. Greater is he that's within you. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Than he that's in the world. Right. That's right. Thank God for huh? right. Come on now. Remember that. Does anybody have a need tonight? Need prayer tonight? We'd be glad to pray for you. I've enjoyed the word. Amen. I enjoyed it. Does anybody tonight? Hallelujah. We'll be glad to pray for you. Remember Saturday night, our first service of Sweet Water at 6 p.m. You can't come on out and be with us. We'll be right back here again Sunday at 4. Amen. You can come out then, but come out and be with us then. Amen. But uh, we're going to push on for the Lord. Amen. 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 You know, uh, God called me to preach. It used to bother me about numbers, Stevie. It used to really bother me when things was low, but I would preach as if I was preaching to a thousand. Yeah. But one day he had to break me. He took me down to nobody. Huh? I'd lay in the floor, Stevie. I would lay in that church. I would cry. I would seek the face of God. I would plead, John. 
I would bang. But he broke me. And when the turnaround came was when he broke me. I said, Lord, if I have to bring the wood heater, bring wood to heat, if I have to carry water for the toilets, if I have to run a generator, Lord, I'm going to do it for you. Amen. He broke me. Next thing I know, he starts sending some people to Stacy Pam, her family, different ones in. We had revival. Ooh, I feel it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We had revival, Brother Stevie. We'd run a little generator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we'd sing, we'd worship. Oh, whoo. My mama. Lights go flickering, somebody run out there. They pour some gas in that generator, keep it going. Sometimes, Johnny, we forget them places. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, brother. Sometimes, Brother JR, we forget them little times there, amen, that we might have considered a small. But God did it. Yes. Woo! Yes. Yes. But his presence was there. Yeah. Yeah. And Johnny, he didn't leave us then. Woo. And he ain't going to leave us now. Woo. My, my, my. Woo. And they I see Ma 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 I feel something tonight, amen. Woo, I even question myself this week, Brother JR. I even question my own self this week, amen. But let me tell you something. I know who my God is. I know who I serve. I know who holds me up when I can't stand. And I'll tell you right now, his name is Jesus. Somebody say it with me, Jesus. He was there when nobody else was, Lord. He was our Lord when I couldn't call out on nobody else. But you was our Jesus. You was our in the midnight hour. Glory to God when I couldn't yeah. cry out to nobody else. You was our Jesus. Amen. Let them say what they want to say. They talked about the Lord, Johnny. They made fun. They mocked him. That's it. They mocked him. They made fun. Spit on. They even accused him one place of having the devil. Come on, it's in there. So let them say what they want to. As long as you know where your heart's at with God. As long as you know where you're walking at with him, that's how it matters. See, the Bible taught me this, Steve. It taught me for me to work out my own salvation yeah. with fear Amen. and trembling. Uh, they can't work it out for me. I got to work it out for myself. Glory to God, man ain't got a heaven to put you in, and they ain't got a hell to put you in. Hallelujah, God's the only one that can do it. Come on. The Bible teaches me. Glory to God, not to fear man or what man can do, but to fear God. 
Amen. Because he's able, glory to God, man can only kill this old body. But God's able to destroy this body and soul in hell. So I fear him tonight, Johnny. Ooh, I fear God. I yeah. fear him tonight. Yeah. See, that's what's happened. The fear of God has left the churches, Johnny. It's left the believer. Those that declare that they're a believer. But there's no fear. Lord of God, I found out in the word of God that, that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hallelujah, folks. I don't mean to talk tonight. I'm just going to get up here, amen, and have an altar call and dismiss. But I feel the Spirit of God tonight. The fear of the Lord has left the household. The fear of the Lord has left. The people don't fear Him no more. That's the reason, Johnny, we're seeing churches run like a circus. We're seeing churches run like a carnival because there's no fear of God there no more. They turn anything and everything loose because there's no fear of God anymore. But I came up under some glory to God, Brother John. Howie Newton's one of them, amen, that would preach heaven sweet and hell hot, amen. Let me tell you something, glory to God, came up under some glory to God that believed in living right and doing right. How you cannot live a double life and think that you're going to go to heaven when you die. Come on now. It's either Jesus or it's not. Either you're saved or you're lost. How are you you're living for him or you're not? He said, Brother Johnny, I'm going to say it by myself. I'm fixing to shut up. But I just feel the anointing. Amen. Brother Johnny, now I'm going to say it. Him saying it to me because it's said to me. It's said to you. It's said to me of his word. If I'm lukewarm, if Fred Roos is lukewarm, he'll spew me out of his mouth. Uh, he said he'd rather of course be hot or cold. Right. Glory to God. You ever took a drink of lukewarm water, you got real thirsty, you went in there and you turned on the tap and you thought you was getting some cold water, but you get some, it, it tastes as terrible. You spew it out, you spit it out. Right. That's the way a lukewarm Christian tastes to the Lord. Terrible. I'm not going to shut up. Has anybody else got anything? Any prayer got anything? Brother J.R. got anything? It's happy to be here tonight. Amen. Amen. We're glad you made it, brother. Amen. Thank you for each and every person that come tonight. Amen. Remember Saturday night. If you can't come out and be with us, can't make it Saturday, be here, come here Sunday. Amen. Amen. We're carrying on for the Lord. Amen. You said 4 o'clock? Yeah, 4 o'clock Sunday here. Amen. 6 o'clock. Saturday in Sweetwater, amen. So come expecting the miracle every service, amen. Have an expectation. And I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. And I thank God for everybody being faithful. You know, and uh, uh, I know you're not only faithful to church, but you're faithful to the Lord. And that's what matters, amen. God showed, I used to think something, wow, somebody being faithful to church was awesome, which it is good. But God showed me something. They can be faithful, be a nair, but their heart be far from him. Amen. So when you're faithful to him, that's what counts. Amen. When you're faithful to the Lord, that's what matters. Amen. So I, I thank God for your faithfulness. Amen. And I'm going to shut up. And uh, we'll ask uh, Brother Stacy be willed. Nobody else has anything to uh, dismiss us with a word of prayer. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done tonight, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for letting us feel your presence again here, Lord. And Lord, please, Lord, just watch over each and every one, Lord, and bless them for the rest of this week, Lord. And Lord, just bless the little church uh, Saturday night, Lord. And Lord, just let it be your way, Lord. And please, Lord, just watch over us and let us return back safely, Lord, in your name, Jesus. Amen. You're at liberty. Amen. Shake hands one another. Tell Johnny how good of a word he preached. Amen. Amen. Amen.